dips. Remember we uh, did the bench dips and actually it was just a, a first stage of that when you were holding your weight off the bench while having your feet on a platform. So you were required just to hold your weight. And today we actually will try to move in that position and this exercise is called crab crawl. Okay, so we don't need any materials for now for this exercise and I'm going to show you, I'm going to start here guys, okay, and I'm getting on my feet and my arms and my hands and I'm going to go like this, right? Okay, John is already doing it. Good job. 
Okay, Dima, uh, your turn. He got one. Maybe he got another one. He's going to take a break. Now your turn. Go ahead, buddy. Get one, two. Go, crab, go. What crab is getting? Hmm? Go, 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 go. How's the rest of the one? Yeah, you're going to get another one. Let's wait for Dima. No, how's the rest of the one? Oh, I think we have enough here. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. So make sure it doesn't fall. Good. Again, I help you. Oh, I put it down. Okay. And go. Yeah, yeah, good job. Good job. Nice. Working backwards. That's so great, crab. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you turn around and go forward. It's a little bit easier, right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, here you go. And go. Go, buddy, go. Go, buddy, go. Nice. Go, Dima, go. Okay, put it in. Good job. Very good. Johnny, do you want to get another one? Yes. Okay. Big one this time. Big time, okay. Go ahead. No, this is Yes, I know. Yeah, I know what you said. Okay, go ahead. Here we go, Johnny. Go. Go, Johnny. Go. Nice. Walking backwards. Very good. It's holding. It's staying here. Okay. Okay, let's see if you can get big one in. You're going backwards. Okay, let's try that one. Forward. Okay. Go, crab, go. Go, crab, go. I'm a sea urchin crab. Okay, sea urchin crab. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go. one you're gonna get now, Krabby? Small one. Small one? Okay, go ahead. Get small one. I'm a... What? I'm a crab. You're a sea crab. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, Dima, go. Okay. Okay, up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, maybe you turn around. Go forward. I know it's easy a little bit for you, huh? Yeah. Nice. Okay. We're going to cheer for you. I know you're tired. I know it's tiring. Go, Dima, go. Go, Crab. I know Crab can do it. Go, crab, go. Go, crab, go. Go, 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 go. Go, crabby, go. And I'm a crab, crab. What? Crab. Go, crab, go. Nice. Keep going, keep going, buddy. Keep going, 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 keep going. Oh, somebody's in the way. Okay, Johnny, do you want to do one more time? No? Okay, everybody's got tired. Yeah, so this is a crab crawl, and as you see, it's very challenging for, uh, for them to do that because it uh, requires the enough strength in your arms and feet and uh, also coordination uh, of your um, uh, legs and hands. Okay, so now we're going to move to their exercise activity called throwing for distance. 
We did some throwing before, we did uh, throwing with both hands uh, into their ba uh, throwing basketballs into the basket, uh, overhand throw, underhand throw uh, at vertical goals. Um, targets and uh, all these activities were uh, aimed at uh, just initiating uh, more just for initiating their the throwing response and today it's time to practice a little bit their mature um, pattern of throwing and the best way to do that to start uh, practicing that uh, is to throw an object as far as you can, meaning uh, applying all, all your strengths to throw as far as you can. And I'm going to use bean bags today for, for this type of throws. And, and you still need some sort of target. Right to, to do the throws, it, it will be more motivating to throw if, if you have some sort of target. And there, what you need to have actually is something that is uh, large, that is far away, but it's hard to miss. And you still can use there a line of cones somewhere, uh, not cones, the bowling pins. You can use a you know, blanket uh, on the surface. As a, as a target or uh, something like a wall, something on the wall painted or you can also measure after each throw you can measure the distance from their throwing position to their where the bean bag landed and uh, yeah as I said you can use any large object and what I found uh, that can be used for this purpose is uh, a pool a small pool here, but it's very big and it's hard to miss. And let's see if my wall voice will be motivated to uh, to stroll in here. Okay, guys, this is going to be our target for strolling. Okay, okay, let's move and we're going to stroll from that position. Okay, okay I'm going to pull in this corner. So, let's throw from here, and we're going to start, start with the smaller walls, okay, smaller bean bags, I mean, okay, okay, start with this, Johnny, Dima said first he's one to be starting, okay, nice, keep going, Ok, 
big one. Ready for big ones?
you want you must run Johnny. Okay, go. Oh, okay, you got so tired. Tired hands? Okay. Good job guys. So let's move everything to the side.